Welcome back to the channel. And where are we this week? Where are we? We're at the seaside town of Whitby. And what a day. Look at the sky. You think Cracking we're abroad, wouldn't you? We've got the extra solar panel out, extra battery power getting charged up, haven't we? So Yeah, we arrived yesterday. Had a bit of a chill, didn't we, mm -hmm. when we got here? Mm -hmm. The parking is free. It is free now from Wow. From first of November right through till March, isn't it? So from Halloween, it's free right through till March. You can't beat it, because we are now going we're right next to the Abbey. Mm -hmm. Right next you couldn't you wouldn't get a spot like this in summer, would you? No chance. You well, just this, won't get it. We parked in the coaches only a bit, but you know, end of the day, it's not exactly full of coaches. So now yeah, we've been maybe. to Whitby many a time, but we we couldn't resist. We're going right past it. We love Whitby, so we're going to have a walk into the town. Last time we were here was last Halloween. We were supposed to be here for Halloween this year, but it all got rained off. It was full yeah. of mud, so we didn't make it. But we're a couple of yeah, weeks got later, aren't we? It? So yeah. yeah, two weeks later. So so let's go and have a look around Whitby. And moreover, important, let's find some decent fish and chips. No, there's not many park ups you will get a view like this. Absolutely beautiful. It is, isn't it? Look how close we are to the Abbey. That's some Abbey, that, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Even though there's not a lot of it left, what is left is beautiful. Yeah, we couldn't have asked for better weather today. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. Yeah, I know it's nice, isn't it? When you, the, you, everything falls in place at this time of year, it's free parking, decent park up spot, and decent weather. <laughs> We've got toilets day. next to us, there's a bin. All for free. Now, Norfolk last week, different different kettle of fish, weren't it? Yeah. Everything chargeable. Everything. Yeah. This is what Norfolk needs to be looking at. Well, even free as far parking. as Beverly, we were paying for parking in Beverly. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope it continues the more, the more northeast we go. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been to Whitby, you will know from the Abbey down into Whitby town there is 199 steps and the steep. Now it looks like we found a better way here because there is steps but it's not step after step after step. These are newer ones aren't they? What's been These are in? a lot newer so we're going to go down this way. We might have to go back up the other way. I'm not right sure yet but we will show you the 199 steps. They're a thigh killer. Aren't they, Mark? Mm. They could actually be a Mark killer because I have actually tripped up them once, haven't I? Last year you did, didn't you? Yeah, running up them like a div and I went flying. So let's go and see what these ones are like. Well, that was well easier. So if you're a bit worried about the 199 steps, come this way. Look for Green's Yard. That's what you're looking for. Green's Yard. And that'll take you up. And you're looking for that as well come right out at the end of town mark you said i coming right through the town oh, yeah i know where we are on the i bridge. know where we are near bridge yeah so if you've come the right way the bridge is just here to the other side of whitby now the one good thing about whitby is it's dog friendly every pub and every cafe we've seen up to now dogs welcome which is lovely isn't it yeah it is nice isn't it? yeah so the other thing that whitby is very famous for is ghost walks at night time mm -hmm. apparently there's lots and lots of history about ghosts being seen in certain public places and public houses now just behind us here this one here where it says toilets we met a ghost walker last year didn't we yeah, but he, 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 we can't, you can't film on it. But them, he wouldn't let us film, so we never went on his yeah. ghost walk because we wanted to film it for you guys to show you exactly what happens on a ghost walk. So we went around the pubs instead. Whitby's renowned for all these little paths and snickets. There's, they're everywhere, aren't they? Look. Yeah, it's proper Sanders old, Yard. It? There's lots of little boutique shops, cafes, pubs. But there's also lots of fish and chip shops. Which is good because it's 12 o'clock, Lisa. So. I didn't think you'd heard me. And what does that mean? It means your tummy's going to start rumbling because we're was, not getting anything. It was confirmed on that food notice board at a pub down there. Breakfast was something like 9 till 11. Lunch is 12 till 3. So oh, it's so lunch. You, your stomach goes off the time when you watch, does it? Yeah. Well, I don't say it's 12 o'clock. I say it's lunchtime or dinner time. So. A lot of people down south say dinner is 12. And I don't know. What, what is it? Dinner's tea, in it, actually? Or the evening meal and lunch is your dinner? Yeah. Very confusing. 
Right, we've put the sticker on, it's up to you to find where it is in Whitby. So we've just come round the corner and obviously we've had the big goth weekend here over Halloween, but can you see the spider behind us? They don't half decorate it good up here for no, Halloween, actually, don't they? Shame the weather were rubbish this I know, morning. it was a really bad weekend, weren't it? So we're just climbing this little bit now and we're going to show you this 199 steps. Like I say, not good if you've got bad mobility. <laughs> this is the start of them. And they go all the way to the top. To the top. You can't. You actually can't see right to the top because it goes right around that hill as well. It takes you up to the abbey, doesn't it? Well, the church and then the abbey. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm out of thinking about it later. <laughs> Now, the, obviously, the other thing that Whitby's well, well famous for is Dracula. Everyone comes here because they say that Dracula's boat crashed onto the side here and he turned into a wolf, ran through the streets, up them stairs, up to the Abbey. I'm not sure if they say that there's Dracula's buried here or something. I'm not right sure on that, 100%. We did go last, on, last time. We did, went to that museum, didn't we? The Dracula Museum. Yeah, there's a, there's a Dracula Museum inside Whitby. Oh, my goodness. If you want to see that, the vlog's here. You can click on that and watch it after this one. So we just found this, Henrietta Street. Why is there a box on Henrietta Street like that? It's like a serving hatch, isn't it? Yeah, serving hatch from what? From a house to a street? Well, pubs used to have off sales years ago, but it's not a pub, is it? It's not a pub, it never has been, off, has off it? Off licence sale or whatever, you go to a door and buy like chocolate bars and bottles of pop and stuff when you're a kid. Can you remember? I think that's a she wishful thinking, Mark. I don't it's think they do. That. No, it's not that. Comments below if you know what they ever use that for, because we don't know. Same. No, don't knock it, someone's house. Can you imagine if you knock on and someone sticks their head out? No doubt somebody will know what it's for, but it might just be for gas meter or something. <laughs> That'd be a bit of a let down, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, so this is Henrietta Street. This is just on the other side of the uh, town. As you can see, the streets were really narrow back then, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, wide enough for horses, weren't they? Kipper Cottage is down there, Mark. Mm. Kipper Cottage, that oh. just takes you to the seafront, doesn't it? There is a pirate boat here, we'll try and show you that as well. And I think he dresses up as um, Pirates of the Caribbean. And you can go out and watch dolphins from here. Not dolphins, seals, not dolphins. It's dolphins, isn't it? No, I think you get seals here, don't you? I don't think you get dolphins. Hmm, not sure on that one. But I know there's something you can go out and watch. And it's quite busy in the summer again, like we say. You can't walk around these streets in the summertime. It's busy this morning, isn't it? Down yeah. in the town. So. Very. I've just come round the corner. Fortune's Whitby Cured Kippers. There's actually a shop selling them. I knew I could smell them. I think Mark's gone in to have a look. You're getting wrapped in newspaper as well. Do you? Like the old days. You see them all down there. They've all like, sm been smoked. Look nice, to be fair. Oh, look, who's been here? James Martin and the two fat ladies. Look at that. Oh, wrap them oh, in newspaper, yeah. how traditional. I mean, you get your white paper. Oh, can you see them hanging in the background? That's what I've just looked at you. Yeah. And bacon packs, look. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight. In the sun. Personally, kippers are not for me. I'm only just managing with the smell from here it's now. Not too bad. I don't know what they're doing. I knew I could smell them. I bet Chico would like them. <laughs> would you like them, Chico? Kipper breath. <laughs> just round the corner from that kipper cottage. I need that fresh air. I can still get you still up my nose. Look at that for a view. Mm. All over there. We'll go over there in a minute. That's all Whitby. Apparently up there is where Dracula's wolf, or the wolf of Dracula was supposed to run down. But look at that view today. We couldn't have asked for a better day, could we? Just two weeks ago, Storm Kieran that we got stuck in was absolutely battering this harbour. People had actually gone onto these harbour walls and the RNLI had to go and save them because they just couldn't walk past them. The waves were hitting it that bad. I don't get people why they do that. It's, you know, mm. you're putting other people's lives at risk because they've got to come and save you. Mm. The house in the middle, it's moving. Well, it's not moved, but it has moved. Look at it. Look at chimney's pot at the top. Oh, yeah. It must be safe, right? It must be. These are all holiday lights up here. We're just looking now and it looks like someone's bought them all and turned them into holiday lights. Yeah. You find a lot of that now in the seaside towns, don't you? Mm. A lot of it's down in Devon and Cornwall. A lot yeah, of the homes. Like the key safes on the wall. Yeah. 
Uh, What's that one say? Welcome to Yorkshire. Yeah. Triple cottage. Tipple cottage. Oh, tipple, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Because it's tippling over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if you haven't got a motor home and you do want to still come to Whitbay, you can hire one of these. Yeah, you could do. Could that do. one sleeps eight, it says. Beach house. I don't know how much it'd be, but it'd be expensive, mm, wouldn't it? Probably. Not, probably not as expensive this time of year, though. So I'm stuck behind the Helen, Helen and Har place here. I've got the steps to go up, which I don't want him going no, up we there. We aren't going up the steps. No, but you want to go down here, and this is just as steep. We are, this is like steep steps without the steps. Hey, this is, this oh, God. Thing, you won't think how steep this is. It probably I think I should take the dog while you're going Chico's down here. Even Chico's a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy. The only way Chico's going to roll down here if you drag him. Don't pull. Don't, he's pulling, Lisa. <laughs> he's pulling. He's pulling. Pulling you over. Look at all this here, Lisa. I just said about these houses, I bet they get battered, but look at all this driftwood here. That'll come up from Storm Cairn the other day, won't it? I guess so, I don't know. It comes down the rivers and estuaries, doesn't it? And then it gets washed back in. So we've just like come down the harbour wall here, haven't we? Yeah, look at that big thick wooden pass there. It'd take two people to lift that. These houses must really feel it here. They must get battered, I mean, look, can you imagine them big branches and stuff hitting your windows? They'd smash them through, wouldn't they? Nah. I mean, I know it's it's relaxed a bit because it's got the... Oh, it looks like nothing now. It looks it looks idyllic to live here, but come storm time... Just be careful, this floor's quite uneven. Uh, yeah, be careful, Chico. Never mind, Chico. Right. Look, try and get one of these sticks, Chico. Right? Mm -hmm. Like I don't it. think you'll be able to drag that. Oh no, he's just going to wet it. Yeah. No, he's not. I've seen another dog. So we've just seen this massive anchor here. And it made me wonder why. Now, apparently, James Cook came from here. Captain James Cook. Do you know who that is? I think I've seen the chip shop called that. No, 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 no. James Cook was an explorer born in Whitby. And he, he only went and discovered Australia. Oh, That's massive. Way, isn't it? Yeah. Looking for fish and chips. We've seen what's behind us. Looks like we should be going down there if you keep mentioning food. Well, it is nearly yeah. past lunchtime, isn't it? That looks like the inside of your ear, Mark. Feels like it. Look Don't at it. these look, megalodon teeth. They're like prehistoric, aren't they? What, are they real or they're just yeah. made to look like no, it? They're real, they're like fossilised, aren't they? Oh, they? Well, I could do with a few of them myself. Oh, yeah? Me? Fossils? <laughs> Fossils, a bit like you, Lisa. Oh. I'm not even going to answer that. We're a reply, Mark. This is again one of the little streets off the off the bridge, not touched. Mm. Takes you right back, doesn't it? It's like a film set. I oh, know it's good, isn't it? Isn't yeah. Nice. Whitby nice. Barber there, and apparently there's a Captain James Cook Museum up here. There you go, yeah. Captain Cook Museum. Eight pound fifty if anyone's interested in that kind of thing. But it's now closed for winter and reopening in February. So I'll just show you this. This is called the Humble Pie. We saw the price and thought it were really good and then realised it's just a pie and mash shop. Pie and mash peas and thick gravy. Any pie, 11 99 and it's dog friendly again. Yeah, it's a nice, nice shop, isn't it? I've never seen it. this. Never, so we've never been down here, have we? It's always been too busy. The amount of times we've been to Whitby, you just don't see everything. And it's not massive. You can get round in a day, but you just obviously don't see everything you can do. So we've made it down to the bridge that takes you from one side of Whitby to the other. And we've just seen that behind us. There's a polar bear on the roof of Holland and Barrett. Any ideas? No, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> Me neither. That, is it? That... Me neither. But this bridge, what we're about to walk over, is like a swivel swing bridge, isn't it? I don't know. No need to go that fast, is there, really? This is right in the heart of Whitby. Yeah. So the town's on the other side of this bridge. That was like the old town up there with the boutique shops. And now you've got all your like, mainstream shops on this side as well. Yeah. I can't believe I'm having to squint because it's sunny. It's good, it's because amazing. we need some solar because our batteries are about flat. Yeah, isn't? our batteries are about flat. We haven't been on hook-up for ages, have we? We haven't been on hook-up since Woodall Spa. We had a day at there, didn't we, yeah. Woodall Spa? Yeah. So. so it can be done. It is, but the sun's getting lower now, so... Yeah, you don't, you don't get as many, many hours now, do you? No, and it's lower in the sky, so you don't get as much solar. So that's the swing bridge that we've just come over and we've come from all the way up there that's where we're stopping and the abbey's just on the other side there as you can see it's still nice and quiet it is 
Well, it was a bit busy in the older town. That's like the old town over there, yeah. isn't it? and this is the newer town. There's an aroma of fish and chips in the air that I must tell you about. Can't you smell that deep? Isn't fry? there in every single seaside town that Not we go always. to? No, but there is a nice aroma. It's nicer than the kippers we were smelling earlier on. Yeah, so that's, you know, it's, it's sort of hinting towards that we need to go and sample the fish Let and me know chips. below if you eat kippers. On a serious note, we were discussing this morning, would anyone be interested in doing some food reviews sort of where we sit down and eat the food and rate it? Let us know in the comments below. We don't want to copy any other channel. We'll put our own twist on it, no doubt. But this is Mark's way of getting the, being allowed to eat on every single vlog. Put it below. Put it in the comments below if you'd like to see some food reviews. We do bits and bats, don't we, with the Chinese? But yeah, let us know and see what you think. So we did mention earlier on about Bram, Bram Stroker, is it? Stroker, yeah. Bram Stroker and Dracula. Well, this is the Dracula house that we went into. Mm, it's it's quite right, good, it? isn't it? And in there is the original, one of the one of the original Dracula capes that was worn in one of the Dracula films by Christopher Lee. We saw it, didn't we? Mm. Mm. My life started from zero with nothing behind Feel so right This feels so right Right, so we've come onto the stretch now. I call it Chippy Row because there's just fish and chip shops all the way down here. Fish mongers or fish bars and stuff, isn't it? So I've no chance have I. He's gonna end up getting some into. And a bat burger. I fancy a bat beef burger. Oh, God help me. So apparently the best fish and chips in Whitbear is the Magpie Cafe, which is the one we've just seen there. Now we went there last time we were here and it was... It wasn't that day, were it? It's during Covid, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, now it's 10 95 for fish and chips, but that's eat out and it's not right warm today. We don't do it in the side, so a restaurant's got three sizes, hasn't it? Yeah, a six, de a six ounce, eight ounce and some else ounce. Started from 9 95 right up to... £18.50, isn't it? For a fish, you don't get no chips for that. Well, we don't know if we're doing that. I well, I think you it just it. said fish, and then you probably got to add your bits that's and pieces it, on, haven't you? So. Mm. God, if you got a big one, you could be looking at 25 quid with chips and peas, couldn't you? Yeah, we knew it'd be expensive, didn't we? So we're going to go a bit further, because, like, the takeaway price there, we'd expect to be able to sit in somewhere for that. Yeah, I said for 10 95 I want to be sat down well, somewhere. We have seen the cafe around the corner on the other side of the bridge. It was £9 a month for cod and chips. Yeah. And let's be truthful, cod's cod, isn't it? <laughs> right, well, that's my hobby done for the day. Charity shops done. Purchases made. I will show you what they like when we get back up there. And believe you me, you're going to like this one. Um, but she said to me, would you like to round it up? And I thought, yeah, go on then. 75p. I didn't realise it was that much. And then I said, well, you want to have a free bag, would you? She went, yeah, the 199. So I am now, quickly, carrying all the stuff around with me. You could put it on. What? You could wear it and then you don't have to carry it. Nah. So I need to go in a shop now and find, spend something else, get a, a, a decent carrier bag. carrier bag. So, he hasn't got his fish and chips. Not from Whitbay, because Whitbay is quite expensive. Yeah. And you'd think, they catch it here, don't they? you think there'd be no middleman that they've got to pay, so it'd be quite cheap. No. You're talking, what did we say, the most expensive? £16? £18. Or, uh, that was satin, wasn't it? Satin, but that just said fish, didn't say chips and mushy peas and pot of tea and a slice of bread that all we normally get don't it doesn't it yeah. so we've just come across this place here it's called the fish box now if you come into Whitby it's right next to the car park opposite the co-op and it, we just walked past and you said it's full in there I said it's probably cheap and we looked at the menu and it is isn't it yeah look at this the menu is absolutely mega cheap yeah. even do mushy peas and curry and the big tubs as well I've just seen someone with a massive big fish and curry thick curry sauce and everything look nice. so if you come to Whitby I suggest you go there don't, don't be fooled into getting them off the main street. Well, we don't know what it's like, but like I said it earlier, good. cod's cod, isn't it? It looked good. An addict's addict, so. So no, he ain't got it because we've ended up going to Greg's, haven't we? And getting a pizza. 
So we bumped into a couple of subscribers. Hello, if it was you, I didn't quite get your right. name. Yeah, thanks for, for the gentleman who came to say hello to us in the, the charity, charity shop, shop as well. <laughs> we didn't get your name either, did we? But they've just told us that as of tonight, Christmas starts in Whitbest, so we've hit it just right. We've just found the Christmas market now, so we're going to have a quick look round. I don't think anything's quite open yet, but and tomorrow the Christmas lights get switched on, so we've hit Whitby just at the right time, haven't we? Yeah. I just don't know where the entrance is, we seem to be walking right around it. Yeah, I don't know where it is, but I think people are just setting up, but yeah, if you want a Christmas market to go to and you live near Whitby, come on down. Yeah. So we just walked all the way around to the entrance, there ain't one, because it's not open until five o'clock tonight. Open, so. so we might come back down and have a look, eh? Let's see how we're feeling a bit. It's a fair trek, isn't it? And obviously, yeah, we're uphill on where we parked and we're down now, so. It wants to be all open because there's only a few other things open at the minute, yeah. isn't there? We but might leave Chico in the van later and have a bottle yeah. down there. He's knackered. He's walking around and he's like, I want to go home. I know Chico is as well. <laughs> oh, so we're just walking back into the town and we've just seen this. Has anyone seen Benny? If they have, please contact that number. Oh, I'd be absolutely gutted. Apparently he's got a distinctive grunt when he walks. A bit like you. So we just thought we'd show you, if you want to something yeah. different or somewhere to go for a drink that's a bit different, try this boat, ship, what is it? A like a pirate ship, isn't it? Yeah, something. it is. Now there's something about this ship as well. Last time we came, someone sent me a message and I can't remember what, what it was about it. It's massive and it's huge inside. We went on here last time we came. Last year, we at Halloween with Liam and Janine from Those Happy Days. We had a right laugh on there. It is a good boat, isn't it? Yeah, it's all like authentic. We don't know if it's real or not. It's been made to look like I'm one, sure but... someone told me it was, Mark. Mm. Or it's a replica. Anyway, that's a good night out on there if you want, you want to have a go on there as well. It's just in the harbour. You can't miss it. It's huge. One for the summer months, isn't it, when it's warmer? Yeah. a lot of it's sit sitting outside, actually. They, they do food and drink. Mark's just got a message to say that his delivery has arrived at the post office at long last. We have had to order another Karcher wire because we can't charge our Karcher up. He seems to have lost the wire somewhere, so he just nipped into a co op for that. Can't find it. Give over. I think they've given it to somebody else by mistake, so I'm going to have to apply to Amazon for a full refund. You are kidding. We've been hanging around with you for it all day. Uh, oh, I'm not happy with that. Do you know? <laughs> I took the packaging out, so. <sighs> Pain in the bum when you catch your thing goes flat, isn't it? So. I've just been go. saying you've gone to pick one up. It's a good job it's come because oh, uh, that's right. it's taken ages for window clean, win, window screen to clear, isn't it? Yeah, it's not right. If we need to shoot off for whatever reason, we can quickly zap over with the cartridge, can't we? But the charging wire's in there somewhere. But... Typical man can't find it. Right, the sun has dropped and oh, the cold well. is really hitting now. You need to see your breath, can't you? So we're going to try and attempt to get up these steps. Hopefully you get up in one piece. Well, it's not the 199, is no. it? It's about 89, isn't it? I think something like that. I don't know, but we're going to see you back at the van. Oh, goodness me. We have got a sweat on. That was horrendous. I thought it was going to be as bad as 199 steps, but I think each step was as deep as two steps, weren't it? Well, the bigger steps, aren't they? So oh, my God. You don't get 199, but the, the, the 199 steps are little tiny things, aren't they? They're quite big. Anyway, we've made it. You've got your cartridge wire. Mm, hopefully it works. I hope it works, this one. It's already had one and we've had to send it back. But there's a USB one it never worked. You might remember on the previous video I was getting it, but yeah, so. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I'm not even going to uncoil it. Well, I'll have to uncoil it because it's not long. <sighs> now, the problem with Amazon, some stuff you buy is rubbish, isn't it? So, we shall see. Yeah, put that on. There we go. Fingers crossed. The other one were just flashing, weren't it? We yeah. were just flashing green, so. Oh no. Yeah, that's right, it's doing it. Are you sure why? Yeah, I think so. That's what the other one were doing. No, it was it fast, the other one, so. Oh, well, we'll have to wait and see in a few hours, see if it's charged up. Well, it, it won't work at the minute, so. Although it's not taking nothing out of that, is it? But we shall see. Mm, fingers crossed, because it's not worse than condensation when you're about to set off, because we can't get it clear. And little Chico didn't come downstairs either. I had to carry him. No wonder you're looking at me. 
And thanks to everyone who wished uh, Chico to get better because he was poorly winning in the previous video. We said he's a bit of a delicate tummy. Yeah, but what you don't know is we did take him to a vet because we were that worried about him because he, he just wasn't clearing up. The, the vet said it could be anything. She couldn't feel anything in his tummy. So she gave him some probiotic. It's three lots of shots in in a syringe a lot of you've been saying get this stuff for him and she'd actually already prescribed it for him she had said that he grubs around a lot obviously we we know that he picks all around. sorts up was in spain he picked up a cigarette m once didn't he when he was <laughs> yeah. younger look like he's having a cigarette yeah. and she also gave him some believe it or not doggy cowpol the equivalent of so that seemed to do him all right but now we've just been been in whitbin what's he just done so it started again hasn't he? So. he just had the runs down in whitbin i'm just hoping he's just a bit nervous about being down in town anyway i'll keep you posted but thanks for all your well wishes he is a lot better fingers crossed thank you to everyone who's bought us a coffee your names will be going up at the end and also a special thanks to Stephen dare for sending sending us something through paypal very appreciated and i have sent you a message back Stephen. but i'll tell you what i could go to bed oh regarding the bed what do you think to the mattress, Mark? Spot on, isn't it? As you might have seen in not the last one, the previous one to that, we got a new mattress mm -hmm. from Made to Measure Mattresses. And we all we can say is thanks to Ben because it is absolutely yeah. spot on. Yeah. So it's uh, so easy to do. Yeah. We, if we'd have known it was this easy, we'd have got a mattress ages ago. We, we, we thought it'd be... Around, we made the video we, months and months ago, we cutting the corner off one. But... Yeah, but no, all you have to do is go on to Made to Measure Mattresses website, Put in your measurements, so measure your bed base at home. Mm -hmm. Put in the measurements, it comes up with a price, you order it, they deliver. Get it delivered, and guess what? So we, easy. We, even good news is we've got a discount code, haven't we? We have got a discount code, NOT10. So if you want to, a new mattress for your motorhome or for anywhere in your house, give Ben at Made to Measure Mattresses a buzz, or like I say, go on the internet and find them there. Yep so easy the details for it's all in the description of this video yeah so. have a look at the link in the description below this is my haul for today from the charity shop we went into oh which one was it scope sketcher joggy bottoms 375 look at the bottoms on them mm -hmm. nice just for dossing around the motorhome but this is my um, bargain of the day bargain of the day another zara thing zara brand new girls like a dress, hooded dress. Oh, I know why it was cheap. Why? No arms on it. Someone's it's not supposed arms to be on. any arms on it, oh. idiot. <laughs> so yeah, hooded dress, Zara, father. Absolute bargain. And it's got tags on it, hasn't it? Tags on it and everything. I'll tell you what, way they're shaping up, no one will bother going to the Zara shop anymore, will they? They'll just go to charity shop, won't they? Well, that's all I do. I've never been in a Zara. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? So yeah, absolutely perfect. So keep looking girls when you see those charity shops in the towns that you go to keep having a scout round because you never know that was the third charity shop that i went into i found it so he's happy because i don't spend a lot of money that was whitby for you come and have a look at whitby it's gorgeous it really really is a nice town but if you come in the winter plenty of parking i wouldn't dream of fetching my motorhome here in the summer well, it gets, you're not going to get. I mean, the opposite. We have events on that field opposite next. Every now and then, but you, you like, we bumped into our subscribers today. They're two or three miles outside, and you can get a bus, bus. in. I do believe. Yeah, so you could do that. Couldn't yeah, you? but make sure you come and have a look because it's gorgeous. It really, really is nice. But for now, we'll leave it there. We've got to get tidied up and have us tea. We're on the move tomorrow. We're going up the coast a bit further, aren't we? A bit caught, yeah. Somewhere we've never been before. So where we're we going next? I'm not telling you. Well, you find yeah. out tomorrow. You only have to drive the bus. <laughs> so for now, we'll leave yeah. it there. If you've liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And for everyone that has subscribed, thank you so, so much. And thank you for all your lovely messages as well. I do try and reply to everyone. So for now, we will catch you on the next one.